Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repo Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I am an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you finish watching it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at AutoCAD 2016 and parametric commands. Here I am in AutoCAD 2016. I have a tab in the ribbon called Parametric, and I have Geometric, Dimensional, and Manage panels to work with. In the Geometric panel, I have certain commands such as Auto Constrain and Individual Constraining Features. If I'm working with objects and I want to say, let's just see what, what else what it can constrain by default, I can click Auto Constrain, pick everything that I want, hit Enter, and it will go ahead and constrain what it can find. For example, things like this being par being hor um, horizontal and these two being parallel. I'm going to undo this, and I'm going to use the individual commands, and not all of them, just some of them, so you understand what uh, parametric geometric constraint is. For example, I can click this icon here for concentric, and I can pick one circle, and I can pick a second circle. The second circle will move so that its center matches that of the first. I can click parallel and pick two objects to make them parallel. Uh, I can do perpendicular and pick one object and pick another object. The second object, by the way, is always the object that moves. Um, we can pick uh, horizontal or vertical. So let's pick vertical. And because these were parallel, this vertical forced this one to be vertical as well. So we'll do things like parallel of here. And uh, let's see what else. Let's do equal. So let's say, for example, I click equal, and I pick this line, and I pick this line. The second line will change so that it's equal to the first. Uh, and then mirror or symmetrical, and a few others. You have coincident and smooth. Okay. Uh, you also have collinear and coincident. So there's a few of the parametric geometric constraints here in AutoCAD 2016. Um, I would uh, implore you guys to look into these commands and play with them. And uh, you'll, I think you'll really start to enjoy um, trying to put some intelligence into your work, um, into your drawings. Lastly, <clears throat> uh, if you go to the lower right-hand corner and click the customization icon, there is a snap for inferred constraints. And I have mine turned on uh, so I can see that icon. If I click it, it turns blue. That means that feature is physically active. And what that means is that as I'm working and drawing things, it will put in uh, constraints, as you can see, perpendicular. Um, draw another circle. And it will try to put in the constraints as you're drawing them, as you can see. Okay? And if, uh, if again, if for some reason they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing, you know, you can force it to do them manually, like so, or vertical and parallel. Okay, and that's it. That's a quick tutorial on uh, parametric and geometric constraints in AutoCAD 2016. Thanks for watching my screencast and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.